Austin. He will present the findings uh, from a placebo-controlled phase three trial that explores extending aromatase inhibitor to 10 years for postmenopausal women with early stage hormone receptor positive breast cancer. Dr. Goss. Good morning, it's my very great pleasure and privilege to be invited by the ASCO organizing committee to present the results of MA17R clinical trial. This is a Canadian US led trial, led and coordinated by the Canadian Cancer Trials Group. The names of the lead authors, co-authors are also shown on the first slide. Second slide please, do I advance here? Okay. ER positive breast cancer is a chronic relapsing form of cancer. MA17R is a randomized breast cancer clinical trial asking the question, does extending adjuvant aromatase inhibitor therapy from five to 10 years further improve patient outcomes? Importantly, amongst 1,918 trial patients enrolled on MA17R, there were three cohorts, distinct cohorts, randomized to letrozole or placebo. Initially, a number of patients, a number of those patients who had received letrozole on our precursor MA17 trial, hence the name, were enrolled to MA17R. So those patients taking letrozole were enrolled to 17R. Later, the protocol was amended to include two further cohorts, patients not included in MA17, who had completed five years of any, three, any of the three aromatase inhibitors currently in use as adjuvant therapy after receiving any duration of initial prior to moxifen. So either no tamoxifen, any duration up to five, or more than five years, any duration of tamoxifen, or an aromatase inhibitor up front. Cohorts one and two represented about 80% of the patients having received prior tamoxifen and enrolled on MA17R, and cohort three represented the remaining 20% of patients having received no prior tamoxifen and only an AI up front as adjuvant therapy. Importantly, common to all patients enrolled on MA17R, they had all had most recently received 4.5 to 6 years of aromatase inhibitor as adjuvant therapy for their breast cancer. Additional inclusion criteria for enrollment on MA17R were a prior history of ER positive breast cancer, of course, postmenopausal and disease free, and a minimum life expectancy of five years. Okay. I can't get it to advance. Next slide, please. Our precursor MA17 trial showed a very significant improvement in disease-free survival with a 43%. This was a trial of initial five years of tamoxifen and a randomization to letters on placebo, and the results of this previous trial are shown here. Although overall survival, in this trial, there was a 43% reduction in disease recurrence in postmenopausal women. Although overall survival was not significant at the time of the initial analysis, it was subsequently shown, as shown on the slide, to be positive later in further analysis. These results were first published in, the 2000, in 2003 in the New England Journal of Medicine and sub subsequently approved for use by regulatory agencies in over 100 countries. Of note, all adjuvant chemother endocrine therapies for breast cancer have been approved by regulatory authorities based on disease-free survival, not overall survival. Next slide, please. Okay. The primary objective of MA17R was the disease-free survival. As measured from the time of randomization to the time of invasive breast cancer recurrence or the development of contralateral breast cancer, whichever came first, so that's the primary objective. The secondary objectives were overall survival, all contralateral breast cancers, safety and quality of life. Next slide, please. MA17R showed a hazard ratio of 0.66. So now the results. The hazard ratio for disease-free survival was 0.66 with a p-value of 0.01. 34% reduction in recurrences on treatment with letrozole versus placebo. Um, and the hazard ratio of contralateral breast cancer was 0.42 with a p-value of 0.007, representing a 58% reduction in contralateral breast cancer or a preventative effect of 58%. Next slide. The sites of breast cancer recurrence are shown on this slide. The commonest site was distant disease, which is important. Of note, women who continue therapy, no emergent symptoms or new toxicities appeared, but a small but significant increase in fracture risk in the letrozole group was noted. 
There was no worsening of quality of life in either group, and more details will be presented by my colleague, Dr. Julie Lemieux. In summary, MA17R is the first study to show benefit of extending an adjuvant aromatase inhibitor beyond five years, resulting in a 34% reduction in breast cancer recurrences. No worsening of quality of life was noted on extended letrozol. No toxicities or emergent symptoms were noted with extended letrozol. Bone health remains an important for risk-benefit consideration. Unlike many anti-cancer anti therapies, aromatase inhibitors are readily accessible around the world, and therefore our results will further improve the outcome of many women with breast cancer. Next slide. The results of this study are being published today in the New England Journal of Medicine. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Goss. Um, I think this, this abstract uh, will be very beneficial uh, really around the world as this uh, medication is available in, in so many countries and has a um, proven effect of not only decreasing recurrence, as, as Dr. Goss just showed, but also of decreasing contralateral breast cancer, which is uh, another important preventative factor. So our next presentation